Experts say that one out of every five women on a college campus will be sexually assaulted during the school year. News for Tucson's Liz McLaughlin says some new high tech tools are coming that could help keep them safe. I consider sexual assault as a disease in our society. A disease that an MIT researcher hopes can be cured with wearable technology. You can put it anywhere, from your panties to bra to shirts, pants, anywhere. The intrepid smart sticker can sense if clothing is being removed, even if the victim is unconscious. A victim is unable to even stand up for themselves, and we want to cater to those kind of situations. It connects with a smartphone app that can contact five people in the case of an emergency. It's the newest addition to the safety device market. The Roar Athena is a wearable that can alert trusted contacts of location and status. The Revelar Instinct is a similar device, shaped like a keychain, with a button to send for help. Before a bad feeling becomes a dangerous situation. There's even a date rape detecting nail polish in development called Undercover Colors. We continue to try to change how victims act, and the only person who can stop it is the perpetrator. Dr. Annalise Meneke has been working on sexual assault prevention for more than seven years. She says while these devices may be helpful tools, it's going to take more to put an end to sexual violence. If we could shift it to how to equip a bystander, I think we could make some real progress in actually preventing crimes from occurring. The technology can add peace of mind. But the responsibility of prevention is on everyone. Liz McLaughlin, News 4 Tucson.